Our West Point graduate and Iraq War veteran John James knows a thing or two about leadership, flying Apache helicopters in dangerous situations, and leading two platoons, earning his own combat action badge. Mm. Now James is hoping to win the Republican Senate nomination in Michigan, vying for the same seat that, yes, Kid Rock was rumored to be looking at. <laughs> Army vet and Michigan Senate candidate John James joins us live now. Good to see you. Thank you for having we me. We talked via remote a couple weeks back. Colin Kaepernick was in the news then. Here he is again, Sports Illustrated, giving him the Muhammad Ali Award for courage, that he's a hero. Well, uh, I can say unequivocally, I believe that Sports Illustrated got it wrong on this one. Mm. Uh, I can think of a, a number of folks who uh, have done great things. Um, and, and it would have been nice for Sports Illustrated to use this platform to, to elevate someone who brings us all together. Mm -hmm. um, that's the reason why I got into the military to begin with. Pete, I'm sure you understand. Mm -hmm. There are some things out there uh, bigger than us. And when I left home in 1999, enlisted for a year, uh, I worked my way into West Point. I graduated from West Point in 2004. Mm -hmm. uh, I became a Ranger qualified Apache pilot and flew 750 hours uh, combat over Baghdad in Operation Iraqi Freedom, 0709. Um, and it's there when you're fighting for Iraqi freedom and, and you look to your left and to your right and you see something like our flag, which unites us, is not about black, white, and yellow, red. It's about red, white, and blue. And, and those things that unite us, uh, those, that's what makes us truly great as a country. So, John, tell me this, though, because that's all true, and I agree with all of it. But tell me why, when you go to Washington, you'll be different than everyone else that's sung that tune and it's gone there. And you're going to say, okay, when I'm faced with a tough vote or a difficult decision, I'm, I'm going to make the tough call, even if it means some criticism from a lot of people. How because do you, I've been how do you... making tough calls my whole life. For half my life, from the time I left from West Point until the time I, I went to business, from the battlefield to the boardroom, it's not about what's doing what's convenient. I'm running because I truly believe it's not about our convenience. It's about being obedient. It's about putting one foot in front of the other and executing and getting the job done, accomplishing mission for our people all across the country. And if you can go to my website, johnjamesforsenate.com, you can learn a little bit more about my history. And I truly believe that past performance is the best judge. And we don't need more lawyers. We don't need more millionaires. We certainly don't need more career we don't politicians. Need more lawyers, we no. need more leadership <laughs> in Washington. So I, I read your background, and there's something that very, that very much interests me because you have something in common with my husband, who's a member of Congress, which is that you have Democrat parents. Yes. Um, so what are you doing to win? <laughs> That was true. Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh. What are you doing to win them over? And by the way, my, my mother-in-law had, during the last election, she had a huge Bernie Sanders sign and this teeny tiny oh. Duffy for Congress sign that next awesome. to it. <laughs> that is awesome. So what are you doing to win them over? Well, I'm sticking to the values that they taught me. My father was born in 1941 in Starkville, Mississippi. Lived directly across the street from Mississippi State University and couldn't go there because he's black. But because he refused to accept victimhood is his destiny because he worked his way up with one truck one partner and himself in this country you can work your way into the legitimate economy if you refuse to make excuses and i believe that from the toughest situations he served in the military as well he's a vietnam veteran mm. he has served this country honorably and i truly believe that in the state of Michigan and all around the country, we have the opportunity to broaden the GOP tent to not just include the old guard, but to broaden our tent to include millennials, and minorities, folks who are actually conservative who haven't had a Republican to vote. Let me get you to a couple of important issues, which is last night, overnight, we're talking about this tax cut that passed. Um, if you win the GOP nomination, you'll take on Democrat Debbie Stabenow. Anytime she wants to come on the show and tell her side, we invite her on. But she <laughs> voted against, against the tax cuts last night, and I haven't seen her pushing uh, Kate's law, which, you know, so this illegal immigrant basically gets off uh, killing Kate Steinle, We're talking about Kate's law to crack down on these sanctuary cities. Why hasn't that gotten through the Senate yet? And would you support it? I would absolutely support Kate's law. I would absolutely support defunding sanctuary cities. I Logic, it might be tough for some of our friends on the left to, to grasp, but if you receive federal funds, you must at a minimum abide by federal law. And those who are putting their lives on the line to protect us, to protect Americans uh, from criminals, we're not talking about those who've immigrated here legally. We're talking about folks who have done the wrong thing and forcing them to pay the consequences. John James? Speaking out, we appreciate having you on the Good couch. Luck. Good, Good luck. Good luck to you on the road. Thanks for having me. Appreciate Good it. Good luck. Thanks for being here.